And I am Corey. And we are headed to where today, Corey? If I were to guess, I think it's Walt Disney World. It is. We are headed back to Walt Disney World. We are going on a quick little weekend jaunt to celebrate my birthday and to celebrate our engagement. Woo! It was at first a birthday trip when we booked this about like a month and a half ago. And then it kind of turned into an engagement trip because we got engaged and that was a big surprise. So it's also an engagement trip at the same time. We're so, so excited. We have a jam packed few days. Today is Saturday. So it is at 7.45 in the morning. We just left and we actually are staying at my dad's. If you saw my last vlog, we are in Florida. That's why we're driving. We're normally flying because we're from the Northeast, but we are driving and today is Saturday. We're hanging out at our resort today. We have a fun dining reservation. We're probably gonna do some mini golf. And then Sunday, we're headed to Magic Kingdom and Monday, we're headed to Epcot. So subscribe. We have a super, super fun weekend planned ahead. Also want to share, we did get Starbucks this morning. I haven't even taken a sip yet because it's just been a hectic morning, but I ended up getting a, it is a grande, but I always have them put it in a venti cup. I got a grande iced toasted vanilla oat milk shake and espresso with the peppermint chocolate cold foam. This is my first time ever getting the chocolate cold foam. So this is first impression sip. coffee 10 out of 10 company 10 out of 10 and location 10 out of 10 so with that being said why don't we head to Walt Disney World And we are so excited. It is gonna be such a beautiful, beautiful trip. I feel like I didn't feel this way when we checked into Pop. We talked about this in our other travel well, day we vlog. we stayed at Pop all the time. All the time, like three, four times now. We stayed at, Grand, no, we stayed at Coronado in May of 2021. <laughs> we were about to say Grand Flow. Yeah, and I, I was did. like, we've definitely never <laughs> stayed there. We stayed here in 2021 and like loved it, but we never got to like enjoy the resort, so it feels so cool to just be back. So our work is not ready yet. We think we're gonna end up going to Chicken Guy for lunch. We've always wanted to try it. We have a lot of time today. Sorry if you can hear whatever that banging is, but we are gonna go do some shopping. Oh, and I forgot to mention as we're walking, we got the best thing ever, which is, show it, Corey, show it off. Happily ever after Our pins. Our happily ever after pins yeah. because we're engaged, so fun, show the bling. Did a little shopping, didn't buy anything, but we just wanted to walk around in their store because we do know that we need a pin because we collect pins from every resort that we yes, stay we at. They just have so much cute stuff that's come out since we've last been, and it's only been a month, but a lot of the holiday stuff is out now, and I just and feel like they brought back the sour Disney character gummies. Oh yes, which if Major you're, events, yeah, people. which is Corey's absolute favorite. So we've decided that because our room is not ready, it's about 12, we were gonna just enjoy the entire resort for the day, but we've already eaten at the sports bar. The three bridges in the middle of the water is closed until four. So we were like, rather than doing quick service here, why don't we go to Disney Springs? We've always wanted to try Chicken Guy. Exactly. So that's where we're gonna head now. We're gonna head to Disney Springs, enjoy like an hour or two there, then come back and swim. Our room is amazing. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna still hold on. You know where we're staying now. We're staying at Coronado Springs, but I'm not gonna tell you in what area or what our room is gonna look like because we're saving that just a little bit. So wait a few more minutes because it'll be here eventually. But. Let's head to Chicken Guy. I'm excited because they're going to be amazing. I'm excited. I'm very so excited. So good. So to Chicken Guy. We have made it to Chicken Guy. This looks so good. It looks insane. So I ended up going with the three chicken tenders and I ended up getting what? Donkey sauce and honey mustard and their special sauce and fries. We got mac and cheese to share. Corey got an order of fries and Corey got a sandwich. Do you remember what your sandwich was called? The sauce boss. Do you know it was what was on it? Standard, um, fried chicken sandwich with um, lettuce, tomato, onions, and pickles. Yep. I got two sauces on it. I got ranchero, which is like their ranch type of situation. Yeah. And then their special sauce. All right, so let's dig it. This looks so amazing. Uh, we've been wanting to try this for at least almost two years now, so I am so excited that we chose today to do it. That looks so good. All right. Oh. 
Really good? Oh, that chicken's fantastic. Yeah, is it good? Oh, All right, going in with the chicken tenders. Also, the chicken tenders are really like, it's like a chicken breast. What sauce are you using first, love? I'm trying the secret sauce, which I think is their version of like a Chick-fil-A sauce, a special sauce, Big Mac sauce. It's a great crust, isn't it? I would say, honestly, I'm giving these chicken tenders a turn in. They're a great there's chicken. Not, there's not one thing I would change. I'm someone that does not like a really greasy chicken tender. I don't find that they're super greasy. The sauce is delicious. The crust on this chicken is like very large panko breadcrumb. It's not that fake. Chicken that's like flat. You know the flat bread crumb that you I mean this in a nice way possible. It's not a McDonald's chicken nugget breading. Made it to World of Disney and holy cow is it busy. But showing off what we're going to buy in the next 30 seconds, I found, how cute is this? Walt Disney World, very vintage. I got it in a size large to wear with bike shorts. Disclaimer, I found you it. You found it, but I saw it online. <laughs> so I already knew I liked it. I don't know what this to describe so this type of artwork, but it's very cool. No, it's a really fun Mickey, and I just feel like he's gray, he's grayish blue, and then has little red pants, which I just feel like is really cute. And then for my nephew, I mean like, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? So we're getting this for my nephew. And we still are gonna go do some pin trading, but World of Disney is, Absolutely, you can see behind us, a madhouse right now. So we're gonna get in line. It will probably take us a little bit to get in line, but a lot of their Christmas stuff is out. They have a lot of cute stuff, and now we just need to check out, and then we're also gonna go to the pin store because I also would like some pins. We have made it back to Coronado after we did some shopping. We are gonna do a room tour. Corey and I just walked into our room. We are staying in the Grand Destino Tower at Coronado Springs. We are on the eighth floor. We ended up getting a water facing view and holy cow, we can see Mount Everest from our room for Expedition Everest at Animal Kingdom. So let's check it out. All right, time for a room tour. So you walk in, here on the left hand side is the bathroom. These are the double doors. A lot of just like basically open space here, I think to probably store a lot. So you start when you're walking, you turn. Here's the bathroom. Oh my God, it is stunning. Like so, so beautiful. You have double vanity, a ton of storage. To your left here is your own like private section with the toilet so someone can shower and someone can use the toilet at the same time, which is always great. The shower is beautiful, rainfall shower. Of course, we still have all of our H2O products. The great thing about also staying at a more deluxe resort, I mean, we're technically at a moderate, but you get like the lotion, vanity kit, shower cap, face soap, you get everything that you need really here. So this is the bathroom. Crazy. Corey's nice. loving it. Then you walk out here and on your right hand side you have just a nice big closet. It has a light in it so when you open it, you're good to go. You've got a full body mirror, which we always love. Oh, we love that. Then we get into the room. So this is just, it's absolutely beautiful. I can't even begin to describe. So we have two queen size beds. And then over here we've got the little Keurig, just a little seating area, put your shoes on, ice bucket, nice big desk, lot of storage in here. I'm assuming this must be, must be the fridge. fridge. Yep, so your little beverage cooler in there, which is beautiful. This is the piece there is what's not. Well, wait, then we have welcome Tata and Woodbine party. That will soon be the Woodbine, the Woodbine party. party because we're getting married. <laughs> then you have a lot of like beautiful things over here. And then like Corey said, here's our view. So, so over here is like the entire resort. You have the beautiful walkway, the fountain. Right below us is everyone sitting on the yard and that big thing of turf. You have, this is all of Coronado Springs as well, this whole circular resort. But that little bump right there, and that little bump, this one, is Expedition Everest. And the, we can literally see the roller coaster going up right now. And this one right here is the Tree of Life. This is amazing. This is I. I'm so excited. Not to knock Pop Century, but so much better. So much better, so different. Well, here's the thing. We were actually talking about this. So we have really only been to Pop Century recently because we have been trying to be a little bit more cost effective and that's totally Especially fine. Especially with the longer stint. Yes, we went for a really long time when we went in September and the last few times we've went, we've just wanted to be really cost effective and go for longer periods of time. But this is such 
an amazing experience, so upgraded. I am so, so excited and I feel like we haven't felt this excited for our resort and to be at Disney in a while because we're, we're so excited. We've been to those resorts before and where we've been to this resort, we've never had this kind of a view from our room. Like I am watching Expedition Everest people go up the ride. Like it's just amazing. So, so we just walked into our room after going to the pool and look at the absolutely beautiful sunrise. I wish I could sunset. make this, or sunset. I wish I could make it a little bit brighter, but in person, it's just, it's a dream. We are ready for dinner. Corey's very excited and we're both in a great mood because pool was super fun, but we have to share our slide story. I'll let Corey take the slide story. It was more of a Brianna issue than me, so. It like, was a it was a pretty big, <laughs> big issue. So we get to the slide, probably like a 15 year age gap between Brianna and I and the All other, the, the other. They must have been like seven, six, five, and then there's me and Corey. I mean, mentally, I was in the right frame of mind. Brianna I was, was literally more. I was like, we can't do this. And we did the slide. I didn't go down a second. You went. Oh, I thought you were about to say you didn't go down the slide. I did. I was like, you went down the slide. No, I did. It was a very mediocre slide. It was not worth the wait with the children. I mean, I mean, it I'm was always, a great the, I'm always the big pr proponent of don't knock it till you try it. Yeah. I now can knock it because I tried it. It was also just like a funny memory, you know, yes. like that we got to do it. But we are dressed. We are ready for dinner. We're so excited. We're going to Toledo at the top of Coronado Springs. So I am very excited. People say this is supposed to be like a Topolino's Terrace, a contemporary California grill. So we're really excited to try their food. The entire restaurant is so beautiful. I'm so excited to show you. I'm gonna do a quick little outfit of the day. Corey and I both have discount codes for our outfits. Corey is officially what? a part of the YouTube influencing team. Oh my anyway, God, I made it. Do you wanna start or do you want me to start? You can start, I don't care. Okay, so my earrings are from J. Crew. My shirts is from, or my shirts, my shirt is from Cuts. You can use code Brianna Tata for 15% off and I'll put the link down below. I brought my other cut shirt that I'll be wearing on Monday. They're, they're amazing. I washed them instantly and then repacked them for Florida. My jeans are from Old Navy and then my little sandals are from Tory Burch. And now, Let's get a little OOTD for Corey. First off, we have my Roback polo here, and I am officially an ambassador for Roback. They just dropped their fall line. That is so exciting that you're an ambassador. Line as well, so you can use the code Corey15 for 15% off of all purchases. We'll also make sure to have the Roback link down below, okay. so if you have any significant others, any men in your life that love to golf, these shirts golf are so nice. shirts to wear out and about. Yeah, what do you like about the shirt? It's very lightweight, very pliable, and also, can we check out I was going to say, let's check out really the print. This print so is called Beach Bar. Palm trees beer glasses, beach balls, drinks, like it's just really cute. And their logo is a dog, a dog. which is really cute. And jeans are from the perfect jean. Which Corey doesn't which... buy any other jeans other than. And then we have our Sperry Top Siders. Sperry Top Siders. And that's that. So we are headed out, well not out, technically we're just walking out of our door and going right upstairs, which is amazing, but. How convenient. How convenient. I'm excited. We are gonna head up now to Toledo. So we have made it into Toledo. The lighting is a little funky because the ceiling is purple and orange and yellow, so sorry for the funny coloring, but I ended up getting a Dethroner on the Rocks, my drink of choice, and I ended up getting blistered shishito peppers. Here are my blistered shishito peppers. Shishito peppers are one of my favorite things. And then Corey ended up getting this four pinchos Something which basically means Pizza. just small bites. Yeah. This one is the chilled mussels, mussels. escabeche. Yep. This one is the olive oil poached tuna with lemon. This one is the fig jam. blue cheese fig and honey. And this one is the tortilla espon, espon, espon la Spanish potato omelet. Cheers. Cheers. I am doing this with my phone flash because you just need to see this. Corey ended up getting the lamb shake with olive oil, potato puree, and English peas. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for him to try that. I ended up going with the hanger steak with, I think there's peppers under there and smashed potatoes, but that also looks delicious. Brianna, tell the people what you got. I got the 50th anniversary celebration almond cheesecake. I am the biggest fan in the world of cheesecake. I love cheesecake so much, it's like my favorite dessert of all time. So I'm just gonna dive right in because I cannot wait to try it. Oh my 
my god, that is the best piece of cheesecake I have ever had. And if Corey knows, I am the cheesecake connoisseur. Like, I love cheesecake. Dinner was amazing. Let's talk about it though. I think that Toledo is a hidden gem because my biggest problem with Toledo and why I think they're a hidden gem is their menu. Their menu is not for the faint of eating. Like their appetizers are like octopus tentacle. Delicious. Like what were some of their other ones? Like it was it like was, a funky kind it of a was salad. Octopus tentacle. I had small bites. One was mussels if you're not into shellfish. Yeah. It was um, a poached tuna that was practically raw if you're yeah. not into raw meat. I think yeah. that the reason why Toledo is probably, why I say hidden gem is if you're willing to step out of your comfort zone or try something, then you would probably absolutely love Toledo. Like I did, I thought the food it was, was amazing. It was absolutely fina fanabulous. Fanabulous. Fabulous. or fabulous. But I didn't love the fact that like the menu was not full of like standardized food. Like we always compare everything to Topolino's when we do this kind of an experience. And I think when you compare apples to apples, Topolino has a better overall menu, but dollar to dollar, Toledo food is like we the same. We are the two extreme. I'm very adventurous. Very, you're a very I adventurous eater. I will always try to eat something. Yes. And then, then I will judge it after eating it. Yeah. Where Brianna is very much, I'm comfortable with what I like. I don't love to and try. And if it's not there. I like to try new food. I don't like to be extremely adventurous in foods that like are out of my comfort zone. I would say overall though, I'm gonna give Toledo from a menu perspective, a food perspective. And a, price. And price, because I think the price was phenomenal for very high quality food. I'm gonna give Toledo an 8.5. The reason I'm not, I'm knocking a few points is I feel like at the end of the day, menu needs a little bit of something. Like they call it a tapas place as well. There's really not a lot of very tapas. Minimal. I think that their menu needs a little bit more basic, so elevated sure. tapas kind of food. And I think that that would make it a little bit better. And I will say, I really enjoy getting an appetizer yeah. and there was not one thing that I got besides shishito peppers, which is technically a side, which great can be an appetizer. I should have more than like one option of just a standard thing. So I'm gonna give Toledo an 8.5 out I'm of I'm giving Toledo a nine. Yep. My knock is service. He wasn't rude, he wasn't anything, just yeah. extremely unattentive. So unattentive. And he just always felt as though he was rushing. Like running physically to our table and then Run jotting something down and running away. So literally, so prime example, when we got dessert, yeah. we ordered dessert, and then literally with the dash, he literally just like chucks spoons on our table and like And runs walking. away. He's not like, oh, here are your spoons. I'll be placed on. Can I help you like, with anything? Down. Yeah. So like, that was I agree. It. With that being said, we ended up deciding to do no mini golf because it's already nine o'clock. We ended up doing dessert. We were just having a really lovely time at dinner, and I would have rather had dessert and spent more quality time with Corey. We than really mini -golf. enjoy each other's company. We love each other's <laughs> company. That's why we got the bling. But with that being said, thanks for spending our Disney travel day with us. Amazing to hang out with all of you. Make sure to subscribe because for the next two days we are going to be in Magic. Kingdom and Epcot. We're going to combine those two days together. Normally I split them out, but we're going to do a combined birthday trip. Subscribe, like, stick around. We have a beautiful little corner of the internet and we will see you all tomorrow at Magic Kingdom. Bye.